Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Weekend Forecast for the weekend of September 13th, 14th, and 15th, 2013. I am Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, how else do I say this? Brace yourself here. We've got Mercury coming into the big cardinal cross position. It's a big deal. You know, Mercury for the next week is going to square Pluto, oppose Uranus, square Jupiter. So there's a lot to happen here. This is intense energy around our attitudes, around our minds, around our intellect, around our communication with relationships. We've got Venus and Scorpio now, which by the way is going to trine over to Neptune over the next couple days. So this weekend we are opening up this very thin veil, seeing through things really knowing if we want a connection with a relationship or want. This is no BS times. You know, if somebody's willing to give you their all, you know it. If they're not, you can feel it now. You can feel if somebody's going to go all the way or if they're not. This is just that period building right now. On top of all that, Mars trines Uranus throughout the weekend, which always causes really crazy, unpredictable things things you would never expect to come into motion. A lot of this also can be anger getting really revved up on a, on a positive energy. This is also the willpower that comes in that, has, that is needed for some people to go in directions that they need to go. So this is direction changes with willpower at its peak. You can't ask for much more when it's in Leo and you have Uranus and Aries. So this weekend again is all building towards pressured situations over communication. I think that people are going to need to really speak out their truth to relationships. We have got everything building towards Monday and Tuesday, which is Venus and Saturn conjuncting, the North Node conjuncting. It's all pressuring into this truth, into a decision in relationships into a decision on what you're going to manifest in your life. And this weekend, it, it causes you to face your fears, to really step into the power of your communication, the power of your mind. There's a lot to weigh out, but there are decisions to be made. This is work. This is structuring your life. Concrete. Remember, we've been talking about this. Wet cement. What are you going to make of it? And sometimes you've got to pick quick but you've got to think for the long-term plan, Saturn and Scorpio is, you know, wanting to cut out of things that you don't want. It's simple. It's easy to make decisions off what your connections are, what you want to connect with in your life. We have the moon throughout the whole weekend, which is going to be in Capricorn and move into Aquarius. And the moon, Friday and Saturday, are going to be in this cross. So coming into Friday night... And into Saturday, you're going to feel this. This is intense energy because the moon and Pluto meet up. And this is the, the last time the moon and Pluto are going to meet out of a six-month cycle of a Pluto retrograde. So I think we're emotional about our plans. I think we're emotional about the changes we want in our life. We're coming into this weekend, whether we've gone through crazy change or whether we're ready for change, which I believe the change just keeps on coming in our life. The transformation is starting to get extreme as we also have Saturn and we have Pluto, which are starting to sextile, which are these backbones of structure of no matter what craziness is happening, especially with Mars and Uranus doing this wild, exciting, really powerful, you know, trying here to break free of energies that might feel restricted of us, that might not feel that a lot of this has to do with you not feeling happy and you getting into what's happy and the craziness that you're going to have to do or the revolution or the freedom of breaking you into the happiness, wherever it might be. It just might be you taking action in a new direction that frees you and gets you more into your truth and it has to do around people. It does. You know, it's amazing how the universe is switching alliances right now and teams and partnerships and that's the secret to getting into your truth are you connected to energy that's not it's it's intense it's about this capricorn energy too is the feeling of wanting to make it somewhere to achieve something and when you mix that with all this virgo there's some nice trines i mean it's nice emotionally i think 
this weekend we know what we want, we know what we're gonna go for, but the pressure is in the fears of overcoming getting there, the fears of maybe that this unpredictability can be a little weird. You know, Chiron and Mars are doing a weird angle. Uh, these actions we take are about healing and they're weird things that we've got to do in order to heal ourselves, to allow spirit to come in. This is about spirit coming in. This is about you listening to your gut. This is about you listening to your true essence. And when it comes to your relationships, you know if they want to be in it or not. It's so simple. I mean, are they involved or not? Are they putting walls up or not? I mean, it's right in front of your face now. It's like, what are you doing, you know? And, 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 and that's the way the cookie crumbles, really, is as Sunday comes, the pressure gets on. Mercury goes to 10 degrees, and it's gonna be sextiling Mars, so if you're not in a place of saying something by Sunday and Monday, and of course I'll do a Monday horoscope, but gosh, things are really intense to pressure you to speak up, to weigh things out, to live in your truth, and more importantly, do not be afraid to step into courage this weekend. Do not be afraid to reinvent your life, reinvent who you are, by weighing things out intellectually and seeing that there's a lot of things to process here. There's a lot of things that we need to speak up about and we need to build alliances and we need to have you know, value systems in place because really relationships are people that reflect the same value systems as ourselves. That if you want to go on a deeper level that internally, spiritually, you are realigning your values into what is going to help you receive more from the universe, which is going to help you manifest more of what you truly desire. And there are a lot of actions to take. The positive in this is this can be really exciting, crazy fun. You could also meet one of the most karmic relationships or a relationship can take a turn that you never thought for, maybe in the more positive and maybe in the more negative. But because it's not based off those value systems or that truth of what you need to define in your life. The moon comes into Aquarius Sunday and really shakes things up as it will start to square the Venus energy and the Saturn and the nodes energy. And this is exciting, you know, where are we ready to detach our energy? I think that by Sunday and Mercury as well is gonna be at the peak of this square energy and this Pluto Uranus square and this is breaking the mold of your life you know, the universe is coming in to really break things free and it automatically is bringing concrete in for you to start putting it together and it's responsibility, it's work time, it's workload. This is intense, this is the, the, the kaboom in your life of I need to make my life this way, I need to do this, I need to have this happen and, and, and you know what, it's, gonna, it's not going to be simple but it's going to be exciting, it's going to be revolutionary. And I ask you to brace yourself for the next week here. And the week after that, as Pluto then comes direct. And this weekend is build up towards the beginning of next week, which really just, and we have a big full moon coming up in Pisces, which things get intense. And this relationship energy is gonna build throughout the week. And I think you're gonna get a lot of taste of it this weekend. So stay in your truth, start to have the courage to step more into what it is that you want to manifest, what your value systems are that represent your true desires more, and for you to build the right plan. This is thinking about a plan in the long term with Saturn and with the moon in Capricorn and Pluto finishing its retrograde. This is the last time the moon's gonna tap over it. Emotionally tap into what the long range, intense achievement is that you came down here to live in this life. You know, a lot of this, I'm a spiritual astrologer. I can't just tell you, you know, it's great for money or even just relationships or just blah, 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 blah. The things that people want to know is it's good for my job. Is this good for my health? This goes deeper into, are you in alignment with why you came down here? Oh, that's the truth. Are you in alignment for why you came down here? Or did you get lost into this, this reality? This video game, did you get lost in it? Or did you aim your whole soul into exactly what you want and with those that are of that. You know, I, I, I love doing this job, but at the same time, it's not easy for me to come and tell you uh, things like this because it, it's a shakeup. 
It's seriousness. And that's why I'm the Leo King. I gotta bring it with a smile on my face and let you guys know it's all gonna be good, and it is. But those who aren't ready to align with their truth are gonna see. It's the tower card in astrology, you know? It's a fall for many, and it's a buildup for others that are ready and that are living in their truth. So, I love you guys very much, and I wanna go deep into your guys' chart if you want a reading and to see what this is all building up towards these next couple weeks if you want to do a reading. Also, you know, I just, I just, I feel for everybody out there because this is intense. And for others though that are ready, I'll be honest, I'm just going to be real because I'm real on this channel, you know? Like for me, it's wonderful, you know? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment, you know? And for those that have too, this is the most empowering moment of your life. I mean, for me, it's exactly on my Saturn return, so I think it's interesting I picked this to be my Saturn return. But, uh, holy cow, for others, you know, no more games. Don't get lost in this reality. Don't get lost in possessions or homes or relationships that are not based off what you really, really want. And it's primal. It's primal. It's hunger. You gotta, you gotta be a vampire, spiritual vampire, in a positive way to juice up your love. And I know no other astrologer will say it like that, but it's time for you to go for the jugular of love, the jugular of your heart, the jugular of why you are supposed to be here. So check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions. Or if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, thank you guys for all your support. My One Feather video is up. We go deeper into the week if you already want a little bit of a head. And I'll be recording the one-on-one -on -one horoscopes again, the, the, the 12 signs. So I'm back in the spot. Thank you guys for all your support. And I will see you Monday next week.